It is Hispanic Heritage Month. KSHB 41, proud to highlight the Hispanic leaders, groups, and members of the community creating a positive change right here in our city. And part of our commitment during Hispanic Heritage Month is to highlight how refugees in our area maintain a connection to their native countries. All new this morning, KSHB 41 news reporter Charlie Keegan found out what it truly means to be Cuban in Kansas City. This night, the cafecito flowed, the dominoes tumbled, and the laughs rolled. Then Cuban music. You can't have a gathering without them. This gathering offers some familiarity for Grecia Cabrera, who didn't even know English when her family came to Kansas City as refugees. Not at all. I knew how to say, how are you? Fine. But when Cubans outside of the Caribbean country gather, they're also experiencing something unfamiliar. We have an American culture shock, and then we have a Cuban culture shock, a real culture a real cuisine, a real music, literature that had been banned for decades in Cuba. We began to learn our identity after we have fr the freedom to do so. Cubans say since the 1960s, a communist government has suppressed food, education, and religion, creating a humanitarian crisis in the country where people are afraid to speak out. Then, on July 11th, the people in Cuba erupted in anti-government rallies, prompting protests here in Kansas City and beyond. For the first time ever, we saw that people lost the fear. Fear that once separated fellow refugee Lorien Campos Carmona from her family 22 years old and you can see I'm still choking to death. is replaced by a strong bond among Cubans to improve their home country so the feeling of freedom becomes familiar. It took them 62 years to destroy a country. It's not going to take two days and a month to flip it back, but I see, I see it's coming. The freedom is coming. Charlie Keegan, KSHB 41 News. Wow. Now, the women you just heard from in that story created a group called Cubans for Kansas City. Right now, it's a way for Cubans to connect and meet. Organizers hope to turn the group into an official nonprofit, which can help Cuban refugees land on their feet here in Kansas City. You can find all of our Hispanic Heritage Month coverage on KSHB.com. You have a story you think needs to be told? Please let us know.